Hello everybody. Hope everybody is doing very well. So it's been a while since I made a video, so um, just about uh, a handful of books that I really enjoy. So what I have here are five books in uh, chronological order. So starting off over here. So, The Tarantula by uh, the late uh, college professor uh, William Balg, I think it's pronounced. Uh, he had studied a uh, local population of what I think is a Phonopebla hensi in Arkansas from the um, 1920s and the mid to late 50s at least. So, as opposed to the rest, uh, it's more uh, a biology book than uh, giving you uh, tips on how to care for them. So, the very first uh, word that really is uh, dedicated to tarantulas, um, of course, this is not the original print, since the, at the time, the, I believe there was only like about 500 copies and it's like impossible to find it. And over here, so all about tarantulas by Dale Lund. So this one I had covered before in a, in a past video. So this one has the honor of being the very first uh, book uh, for tarantula keepers by a tarantula keeper. So as I had said at the time, uh, a lot of the uh, information is outdated but a lot of it still rings true and over here Tarantulas by John Browning as opposed to the previous one uh, husbandry wise it's not quite as good however with where this book really shines is that it's full of anecdotes uh, pertaining to the uh, um, media with tarantulas during the late 70s. And it's in this book that I uh, came to be aware of the existence of the movie Kiss of the Tarantula, Kingdom of the Spiders, and Tarantula did a Lee Cargo. So I now have these films uh, on DVD. I, I enjoyed them a great deal. And over here, so Arachnomania. So, this was the very first tarantula book that I bought in the mid 90s. And this one is uh, written by uh, somebody who uh, has more experience with reptiles than tarantulas. So, there's a lot of. Um, husbandry here that mostly applies to re reptiles and just doesn't really go with tarantulas so it's just a, a sign of the times I would say and over here so the Tarantula Keeper's Guide the third edition and this one is the uh, first book that I bought once I started keeping tarantulas back in 2009 and there is some information on this book that is uh, of course, outdated, such as the uh, the part about uh, AVIX need uh, high, humi high humidity. We know that right now they can thrive on dry substrate with a lot of cross ventilation. And there's also like suggesting that uh, you need to keep uh, terraphosa and such on swampy substrate, and that is just wrong. They just need moist but not overly wet. So there we go. A quick look at the uh, the covers again, and as you can see, three of them have the iconic B. Hamori on the cover. They will show how popular that tarantula is, and also there's something else that I want to bring up. I had done a much needed uh, enclosure upgrade. So, a lot more substrate has been added, 
And now they have the opportunity to burrow if they wish. And sometimes they do climb, so now there's a little to no chance of um, of having a bad fall. So over there, my curly hair on the edge. <clears throat> my goofy rose hair. She always prefers to sand over the top of the hide. Hey, that's how she is. And over here, my uh, rack full of bomai. And last but certainly not least, okay, hold on, let me get a good shot here. The iconic Bihamori. Yeah, the image is not so good, so sorry about that, people. So there we have it. A super quick update. And I will try to make some more videos uh, the coming year. So I wish everybody a uh, happy and safe holidays. And I will see you soon. Alright, bye.